for the weather this weekend? <laughs> yeah. Got some good weather for the weekend, but it's going to be hot. Yeah. And today is going to be a hot day as well. So if you have any plans to be outside, just be prepared for the heat out there because it's going to be even hotter compared to what we saw yesterday and Saturday will continue on that trend. But with the heat, the dry conditions and the windy conditions, red flag warnings have returned and we'll see that for the western half of the state. So we'll talk about that and we'll look ahead into and past this upcoming weekend. But that red flag warning for just about everybody along and west of the I-15 corridor in the Beehive State. For those of you in Cedar City and St. George are not included in the red flag warning, but there is an elevated fire risk for today and even in eastern Utah. While we don't have that that red flag warning. It's still something you need to be mindful of, of that ongoing fire risk. High pressure in control of our weather, and that high pressure has pushed just about all of that moisture away to our east. So mostly dry skies across the Beehive State for today. And we're not really going to be looking at much in the way of any cloud coverage. Mostly sunny skies, but at least it's a beautiful sunrise. Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab, a very calm Colorado River. You can see the reflections off of the Colorado River this morning in southeastern Utah and Moab and then in Deer Valley, an absolutely spectacular sunrise looking down towards Jordanell Reservoir. So no matter where you are, if you have an unobstructed view of the horizon, you're going to see a pretty sunrise. It's a comfortable start to the morning. It won't necessarily be all that comfortable this afternoon with these temperatures. A high temperature of 102 in Salt Lake, which is two degrees thick shy of the record high for today, but in Ogden, 97, 98 in Brigham City. So it's going to be hot all along the Wasatch Front, 91 in Nephi, 95 degrees in Fillmore, 100 in Green River, then in southern Utah, 90 in Blanding, 101 in Hanksville, 92 in Beaver, and 91 degrees in Enterprise. So no matter how you slice it, it's going to be hot, and we're going to get even hotter for our Saturday as we're likely going to break the record in Salt Lake City. Temperature will come down slightly in northern Utah with a little bit of a wind switch going into our Sunday as the temperature continues to climb down in southern Utah, but that heat will be back into the triple digits by early next week in Salt Lake City. But let's begin the future cast moisture graphic here because this is what we want. We want some moisture. But as we move forward here from today into tomorrow, we're going to be looking at predominantly dry conditions. By tomorrow afternoon, there's a small chance that some moisture could find its way into some of the higher terrain, predominantly in central and in eastern Utah. But going into Sunday in southeastern Utah, we're going to have a better chance to at least see isolated showers and storms as that monsoon moisture tries to work its way back in as it kind of clashes with that dry air. But then as we get from the early to middle stages of the week, the high pressure that will be keeping our weather mostly quiet will start to move away to the east, allowing more of a straight southerly flow and for the end of next week we could be talking about a good surge of monsoonal moisture and a return to some wet weather chances along the Wasatch Front and maybe even down in St. George as well but in St. George over the next handful of days dry conditions with breezy and windy conditions Friday Saturday into Sunday but look at Monday and Tuesday a daytime high of 107 and 108 then along the Wasatch Front those daytime highs will be running into the upper 90s near 100 degrees but in Salt Lake City 102 today 104 tomorrow and breezy with a temperature of 98 on our Sunday back to the triple digits Monday into Tuesday 104 on Wednesday before we bring in a chance for some wet weather going into our Thursday. So keep your fingers crossed that we're actually able to see that monsoonal moisture actually surge its way in.